Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is an 11-year-old boy who injured the thumb. This is a coronal view where we can see the distal phalanx of the thumb here. Here's the tip. Here's the proximal phalanx here, and here is the first metacarpal. We can see the same things on this view. Distal, proximal phalanges, first metacarpal. Now, in this view, it lays it out where the ulnar side is here, the radial side is here, and we really look carefully for the ulnar collateral ligament, the UCL, is something surgeons are really worried about. When that's torn, they have to sometimes go in there and fix that. So we look really carefully. It looks a little thick here, but it is not torn, it's not ruptured. If we go over to this view, we can see that there is a little bit of darkness here. We can see a little dark band coming across. So the UCL, ulnar collateral ligament, looks like it is intact. Some people could argue, well, maybe it's a little thick, maybe a mild sprain, but definitely not torn. But there is something on the opposite side, over here on the radial side, we see a little collection of fluid or hemorrhage right over here. And this is the opposite side, so when the UCL gets injured, the thumb is stretched this way, like a ski pole injury. And it will yank on the thumb and stretch the ulnar side. This is the opposite side, so the opposite mechanism of injury, so this is probably okay here. And we have something else. So now. The question is, what else goes on out here? Well, we have the radial collateral ligament. We can see this little black line coming off the base of the proximal phalanx coming over here, that little black line, and that should attach here on the first metacarpal head, and maybe this little component of attaching, but it looks like that may be partially torn from the head. And then over the top superficial to that, we see this black line. This is a combination of two uh, muscle or tendons coming from the thenar muscles. We have the two superficial most muscles here that come over the top and attach to the base of the thumb, superficial to this um, radial collateral ligament, and those are going to be the abductor uh, pollicis brevis muscle and the flexor pollicis brevis muscles. Those are both going to come over the top and attach here. And there's a third muscle here that blends with these thenar muscles. And this is the one that's torn. That little white area here is a little hemorrhage or uh, fluid. This is the muscle coming up, and it's partially torn right here. And the tendon attachment is torn from the bone here. And this is called the opponent's pollicis. It helps the thumb oppose. And it attaches right here on the first metacarpal head. So again, it attaches in the first metacarpal head. The other two are more superficial. They go over the top. And they attach over here in the base of the thumb. So when we see fluid here, and we see a little marrow edema or cortical avulsion injury right here, or maybe a periosteal or cortical avulsion, we uh, know that the uh, uh, the opponent's pollicis may be the one injured because it, this, is, this is where it attaches. And these other ones we're going to look at on a different view. So here we go. This is an axial view. We can see the first metacarpal head, here the flexor pollicis tendon. And we're going to look at these thenar muscles. So here's the superficial component of the thenar muscles. The deep ones here are going to be the adductors. And the superficial ones, we're going to have three of them together. You really can't tell them apart very well. They blend right together. But the most superficial one over here is the abductor pollicis brevis. And again, it's going to go over the top and attach out here more distally at the base of the thumb, along with the flexor pollicis brevis. And then we're going to have the third one that's superficial, and that is the opponent's pollicis. And again, that one's going to attach right here in the first metacarpal head. And since we see this little crescent of hemorrhage or fluid, we know that that opponent's pollicis muscle and tendon must be torn. And this little dark band right there, there's probably a little elevated cortical or periosteal avulsion fragment right where that attaches, and it's peeled up, and then the tendon's torn. And again, they may also have a tear of that radial collateral ligament attachment to the bone there as well. It's hard to tell. But that's it. Thank you so much.